It is another morning where you're going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra time to warm the car up because it is a chilly start to the day. A lot of frost around temperatures currently in the 20s for most of us. It is 28 degrees in Lansing, 27 for Jackson and Hillsdale, 26 in Charlotte right now and Mason sitting right at the freezing mark at 32 degrees. A little bit cooler off to our north. You can see West Branch checking in at 22 degrees this morning, but I want to draw your attention further towards the west. Notice Wisconsin, Minnesota. They're waking up to relatively mild air currently in the 30s and 40s. The reason for that little bit warmer air, well, they've held on to a lot of cloud cover through the overnight hours. It does look like that cloud cover is heading our way. Eventually, those rain showers that you're seeing out over the plains are moving our way, likely not until this weekend. But because of that cloud cover, it looks like today is the last morning that we're going to be waking up to these very chilly temperatures. And really low temperatures are hovering into the mid to upper 30s. A couple of nights, we might only drop to around 40 degrees. Now, as we head through the day today, we are watching that cloud cover roll on in. It's coming in from the southwest, so our cooler temperatures will be observed into the southwest areas like Coldwater and Marshall. Lansing, Jackson still topping out around 51 or 52 degrees. A little bit warmer the further off to the north and east you are. That's because they are holding on to that sunshine just a little bit longer. And you'll see all this as we go through the uh, future track. Plenty of sunshine this morning, but by the middle of the day, we are starting to watch that cloud cover roll on in. Initially, it is just some thin cloud cover, so we still have the sun filtering on through. But that cloud cover continues to thicken up as we go through the afternoon and evening hours. We end up mostly cloudy going through the overnight tonight, which does keep us a little bit warmer. So lows only dropping into the mid to upper 30s to start your day on Friday. As we go through the day on Friday, though, we just can't shake that cloud cover. Still with that little bit of a warmer start to our day, temperatures are able to make it back up into the low 50s for your highs. Slight chance of a couple rain showers moving in late in the day on Friday. Better chances for some spotty rain shower activity Saturday and as we head into your day on Sunday. Now as we check out your forecast for today, plenty of sunshine this morning. Expect that cloud cover to be on the increase, though, once we head into the afternoon. Temperature wise, still making it back up into the low to mid 50s for your highs. Into the overnight tonight, lows only dropping into the upper 30s. A couple spots might only bottom out around 40 degrees. That's coming with mostly cloudy skies. Still some very light winds around tonight, and winds really not a big concern for your day tomorrow either. Still holding on to that cloud cover through the day. Question was to whether or not a shower or two develops into the evening hours. Tomorrow, high temperatures very similar to today, topping out around 52 degrees. And we're staying right around the 50 degree mark as we go through the next seven days. We will watch for a few scattered rain showers Saturday and Sunday. Things should start to clear out for the beginning of next week, though. Tuesday looking like a nice day with mostly sunny skies. Heading into Wednesday, though, Halloween. Looks like <laughs> you might want to incorporate a rain jacket into your costume as we will have a couple showers in the area. Right. Well, time is going by so fast because I'm surprised even you have the Halloween on your forecast there. I feel like we just had there. the 4th of July thing on I there know. like a week ago. But yeah. This is, wow, bundle up time kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks, Jim.